A reading from Mark 15. And as soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes in the whole council. And they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him over to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered him, You have said so. And the chief priests accused him of many things. And Pilate again asked him, Have you no answer to make? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Mark 15, 6 through 15. Pilate delivers. Now at the feast, he used, to, he used to release for them one prisoner for whom they asked. And among the rebels in prison who had committed murder in the insurrection, there was a man called Barabbas. And a crowd came up and began to ask Pilate to do as he usually did for them. And he answered them, saying, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he perceived that it was out of envy that the chief priests had delivered him up. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release for them Barabbas instead. And Pilate again said to them, Then what shall I do with the man you call the king of the Jews? And they cried out again, Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Why, what evil has he done? For they shouted all the more, Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. So, Mark 15, 16 through 20. And the soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is, the governor's headquarters, and they called together the whole battalion. And they clothed, they clothed him in a purple cloak, and twisting together a crown of thorns, they put it on him. And they began to salute him, Hail, the king of the Jews. And they were striking his head with a reed, and spitting on him, and kneeling down his homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, and put his own clothes on him, and they led him out to crucify him. 